Well, let me thank you, Sister Lee, and uh, for uh, providing the leadership. And as Javier has said, this is the 50th anniversary of the War of Poverty, the Unconditional War. And that's part of the longest war that this country has ever waged. And this is a time that we should be looking at the horizon to find out where in that horizon that we're going to accomplish the defeat of poverty and chase that poverty away. So that we can bring the candle of light and chase back that shadow and the, the darkness of poverty so that everyone can enjoy the, the qualities and, and the benefits of this country. Back in uh, 2007, I, I did join Councilman Lee in co-founding the Out of Poverty Caucus and because we did see the tremendous need for a renewed focus on poverty and support for proven anti-poverty programs. And I want to say uh, thank you very much to uh, <clears throat> Linda Johnson Robb for her, her uh, sustainability and her continued uh, fight to make sure that uh, this unconditional war on poverty continues and that we have that focus upon it. And it's great to have that kind of uh, history and making sure that we keep our focus in our, in our, in our sights on the eradication of poverty. And that need is still here today. There are over 46.5 million people living in poverty in this country. In America, despite only being 5% uh, of the population, nearly 12% of Asian American and Pacific Island communities live below the poverty line in 2012. And having said Asian Americans, I just want to also point out that you see before you the distribution of population in this country represented here. Fifty years ago, that wasn't possible. That wasn't happening. And today, we have every uh, population, every diaspora represented here. And that's because of the kind of work that the Civil Rights Movement has had. And so, to the CBC, to the uh, Hispanic Caucus, and as a member of the uh, uh, Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus, I want to say thank you for our leadership, and for your leadership, and for your nurturing of, of members of our communities. We often talk about poverty in terms of numbers, of trends, of dollars and cents, but poverty is personal. It is one person or one family struggling to pay the bills, feed their families, and provide for education for their children. Clearly, something must be done. We must redouble our efforts on the war of poverty, recommit ourselves to really winning it, we must tackle income insecurity for seniors who are at risk slipping into poverty. And the way to do this is to strengthen Social Security. My bill on Social Security with Congressman Gordon Linda Sanchez will modernize benefits and scrap the cap to make the system more fair. I just want to also add that on the Senate side, it will be uh, Senator Schumer and Harkin. Education is another critical element to winning this war. It is a vehicle to be out of poverty. We must fully fund, head start, ensure each and every child has access to a quality preschool education. And our efforts must be targeted to those most economically distressed. It is past time for Congress to act. We can start today by passing a needed unemployment insurance extension. These steps are critical to claim victory the LBJ, President Johnson, challenged us to win over 50 years ago. 